This is the dignitary room of the Yerevan Brandy Company. For anybody who's anybody visiting Armenia, they come here. Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to another edition of Borders on Budgets. On this episode, we will learn about brandy making in Armenia, its history, and yes, we will sample this liqueur. If a company's prominence can be measured by the size of its headquarters and by its location, then the Yerevan Brandy Company certainly has its place in Yerevan, Armenia. The name of the brandy from the Yerevan Brandy Company is Ararat, appropriately named for the mountain under which the Armenian capital sits. And uh, we'll see the export map a bit later on. If you have any questions so far, you're welcome to ask them. If not, let's move ahead. Shall we? Let's go. Itself, it's a long process. It takes minimum of three years. That's why we don't have brandies younger than three years old. But it doesn't have a maximum, so you can age brandy for 100 years, even more. So brandy will have some space to breathe, which is necessary. And the lovely aroma you're enjoying for a few minutes already, this is called angel's share. This is the part that evaporates from each barrel each year and on average takes from 2 to 4%. See here, the barrel is always assembled by hand without using any kind of nails or glue uh, because both will spoil the taste. This is called the Barrel of Peace and it was set in 2001 to commemorate the visit of representatives of the Minsk group of OSCE. A small strip of land between Armenia and Azerbaijan which has caused a lot of conflict and wars over the years. And, us, and the only Azerbaijani flag in Armenia as we don't have any diplomatic relations. This barrel will be opened the day the conflict is finally and peacefully resolved and uh, we're still waiting for that to try this one day. Brandy making came to Armenia in the 1870s. However, it wasn't just the process of making the liqueur, but it was also the marketing. Lilliet will explain what strategies were used. <laughs> Thanks to this gentleman on the right with the mustache. His name was Mercedes Tairian. And he used to hire uh, students all across the country. He used to dress them perfectly and give them enough money. And with a gorgeous lady, he would send them to the best restaurants uh -huh. all over. <coughs> and uh, they would actually come into the restaurant and order a very impressive meal. And in the end, would ask for Shustan brandy or Armenian brandy. And as nobody had any idea what it was, they would pretty much apologize. We're very sorry we don't have it. And that's where the students would act very offended and outraged. Most of restaurant owners decided just to be on the safe side. They would stock at least some of it, not to offend any more rich guests in the future. And that's what they did. The, the one next to it in the corner is the 25-year-old. Uh, it's just called Arena 25. It was created in 2016 to commemorate the 25th uh, anniversary of independence of Armenia. A more elegant So if you're ready, we can proceed to the tasting. From theory to the Brandy glass usually has a very distinct tulip shape, and the shape allows the aroma to open up best. It's actually called a snifter because of it. And when you judge the quality of the drink in front of you, there are a lot of different criteria. But the most obvious ones, the ones you can check right at the table, are the color, the transparency, and the thickness, which is important as well. And you will see drops sliding down from the side of the glass to the bottom. And these drops are actually very informative when it comes to quality and age. And the first toast is always traditionally held for everybody present at the table. And we say Barov Desang, which means we're happy and glad to see each other. So Barov Desang, everyone. And now comes the moment of truth. Ten-year-old Ararat Brandy. Here we go. Oh, that is 
That is divine. Smooth. Well, from the Yerevan Brandy Company in Yerevan, Armenia, this has been another edition of Borders on Budgets. A reminder, Borders on Budgets, long distance hikes, slices of life, not a lot of money. I look forward to seeing you on our next episode. Lovely.